Hi, my name is Kieran Saker, Vice President of Marketing with Meraki, and I'd like to give you a quick demo of Meraki's cloud-managed enterprise networking solution. Meraki makes a complete family of networking products from wireless access points to Ethernet switches, security appliances, and mobile device management, all of which are centrally managed through our award-winning cloud-based management platform. This makes Meraki incredibly easy to deploy and manage, even if you have a large network with lots of sites, or you're trying to securely manage users' devices and applications. Let's take a look at the system in action. I'm logged into the Meraki dashboard, looking at our own corporate network. This is the dashboard that our IT group uses to manage our internal infrastructure, and if you were to deploy Meraki, you'd see the same interface for your network. This dashboard gives me an overview of all of our different sites around the world and of both our wired and wireless environments. From here, I can drill down into any part of the network. For example, let's take a look at our wireless LAN at our headquarters in San Francisco. Each of these green dots represents a Meraki wireless access point, shown here on a Google map. Google was Meraki's first customer and an early investor in our company, and we've integrated their maps product into our dashboard. You can also upload your own custom maps and floor plans. This is very helpful when providing remote support. Let's say a user calls up and says they're having trouble getting on the network. We ask them where they are, and they say they're in the San Francisco office, on the fourth floor by the stairs. First, we notice that the access point near them is green. That means it's online and it's healthy. If there was a problem, it would show up as yellow or red, and we'd have received an alert from the dashboard. We also see the number 59, indicating that 59 other clients have successfully connected recently. So it looks like the AP is healthy, and it's likely an issue that the user is having with their client. But if we click on the access point, we can see even more about what's going on. When we drill into a Meraki device, we can see all of the vital information about it. On the bottom right here, we see monitoring metrics. Whenever you plug in a Meraki device, be it a wireless access point, a switch, or a security appliance, it automatically starts being monitored from the cloud. And if something goes wrong with the device or with the upstream network, you'll receive an alert so you can log into the dashboard and see what's going on. In addition to historical monitoring metrics, we also have real-time information, like the data flowing over the AP, which clients are associated to it, what their signal strength is, etc. There are also a number of built-in real-time tools to troubleshoot network issues. These are the types of features that you might find in a traditional wireless LAN controller, except that we get them without the cost and complexity of traditional controller hardware, and we can access these features right over the web for any part of the network anywhere in the world. But where things get really exciting is when we take a look at the users and devices and applications on the network. Clicking into the clients page, we see a list of all the clients that have used the network. Whenever a user associates, that event is stored in a database in the cloud. The users are also automatically fingerprinted by the system, so we can search for a user. If I type in my name, Kieran Saker, we can pull up my MacBook Air laptop. You'll notice that I didn't search for a MAC address or an IP address. I searched for my own name. I can do this because the system automatically fingerprints clients based on a number of attributes. Along with usernames, I can search by device type. So if I search for iPad, I'll see all of the iPads on the network, or by operating system. This is great for seeing high-level trends on the network, like learning how many Android devices are active and how much bandwidth they're using. It's also great for supporting individual users. If someone calls up with an issue, I don't have to find their MAC address. I just type in their name and can pull up their client. I can see their connection settings, pull up an event log, and even see their location. We've got automatic location tracking built in, so if a device goes missing, I can just search the dashboard to see where it last was on the network. And if we've got a client that has a problem, say we think it might have a virus, I can block it from the network with one click. In addition to fingerprinting clients, the system also fingerprints applications. I can hover over this pie chart 
and see where all my bandwidth is going, like how much data is being used by Dropbox. Pulling up details, I can see hundreds of apps that are identified, like Backup, VoIP, Netflix, and YouTube. Clicking into one of these apps, I can see when it's being used and by whom. If I see bandwidth being wasted, I can limit this application's usage across the entire network using Meraki's built-in Layer 7 traffic shaping. Here, I can block an application like YouTube with our Layer 7 firewall, and even block evasive peer-to-peer -peer apps like BitTorrent. For apps that I don't want to block outright, I can simply throttle them down to a reasonable bandwidth limit, and can likewise prioritize critical apps like voice over IP and video conferencing. There are a number of other features that are built into the product to help you manage your wireless environment, like 802.1x with Active Directory integration, secure guest access, and Air Marshal, Meraki's wireless intrusion detection and prevention system. But cloud management also has a lot to offer for the wired side of the network. Let's take a look. In the dashboard, we can see our Ethernet switches across all of our sites. Let's take a look at the switches in our headquarters in San Francisco. Drilling into a switch, things look very similar to the wireless AP that we saw earlier, with real-time web-based tools and monitoring metrics. We can also see what's going on on each switch port, what device is connected, how much data they're passing, etc. We've also built in some very cool tools to help simplify everyday administration of your Ethernet environment. Cable testing is a great example. We've heard all too many times how, after hours of troubleshooting, network issues turn out to be because of bad cables. With Meraki switches, if a user is reporting issues, we can enter their port number, click test, and the switch will determine if the cable is healthy and even calculate its length. If it's damaged or it's too long, we can find out instantly. These switches are also very easy to configure, even if you have large or highly distributed networks. We've developed a feature which is built on our cloud management technology called virtual stacking, which allows us to have visibility and control over any number of switch ports, even if they're in different network closets or even different sites. When I need to configure ports, I just select the ports I wish to modify, click Edit, and can adjust PoE settings, VLANs, etc. across any number of switches with just a couple clicks. The Meraki switches also give us the same visibility over users, applications, and devices that we saw with the Meraki wireless system. Now I can search in the client's page for Shortel and pull up our wired VoIP phones. Likewise, I can see the applications flowing over the switches. Mousing over the pie chart, I can see the bandwidth going to Windows file sharing and click into details to see hundreds of other apps. These are the industry's only switches that offer this level of visibility. The management experience that we've seen in our wired and wireless products extends to Meraki's MX series security appliances as well. Let's take a look at the MX appliance that we have here at headquarters. This appliance connects us to the internet, serving as our firewall and branch router. This one appliance can take the place of many boxes with features like link bonding, 4G failover, a next generation firewall, application traffic shaping, and category-based content filtering. The content filtering allows me to easily block unwanted sites, filtering millions of URLs. It even integrates with Active Directory, so we can have different policies for different groups of users. Now, many of our customers deploy our security appliances across multiple locations, and we've built a number of features to simplify these distributed environments, one of which is Site-to-Site -Site VPN. If you've ever configured a Site-to-Site -Site VPN, you know it can be a royal pain. You've got to configure authentication, key exchanges, routing tables, etc. And every time you add a new branch, you've got to repeat the process. Now, with Meraki's AutoVPN technology, which we've built into the MX, our cloud acts like an air traffic control between the sites. We can enable site-to-site -site VPN with just one click, and the MX will automatically discover its peers. Everything from routes to NAT traversal and key exchanges are handled automatically. In addition to securing the connections between sites, the MX also accelerates traffic between them with built-in WAN optimization. These appliances include storage for caching data locally and an engine that compresses data and optimizes protocols to reduce latency. 
Meraki has built what's known as a universal data store that allows data to be efficiently cached at local sites and only transfer new or modified bytes across the network. We can see the effects of WAN optimization in the monitoring tab. The blue line indicates the data that end users are accessing, while the green line shows the bytes that are actually moving across the network. The difference between the two shows our bandwidth savings. Before we wrap up, I want to show you one last set of features in the platform. Lots of Meraki customers are deploying our products to support tablets, mobile devices, and BYOD environments. And we've built in lots of features that help make that easier to manage. But we thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually manage and control the devices themselves right from within the Meraki dashboard? So our engineers built in a complete MDM solution right into the platform, and we call that Systems Manager. Now, our marketing department has a number of iPads, which are owned by the company, that we use to do demos like this at trade shows and events. If I search in the dashboard, I can see one here. Clicking into it, I see information about it, just like any other client on the network. But since we've enrolled this device in Systems Manager, we can drill down into the client details and see what's happening on the device itself. We can see battery charge, free space, and even the applications installed on it. And if someone takes one of these out into the field and calls up IT saying it was stolen, with one click we can lock or erase the device. In addition to managing individual devices, Systems Manager is great for setting policies across a fleet of devices. In our mobile settings page, I can set policies for all of our devices. For example, I can require a passcode so our data stays secure. I can configure Wi-Fi and VPN settings and set restrictions on the devices. For example, if I'm deploying these devices in a classroom and I don't want students to be distracted with the camera, with one click I can disable camera use. Systems Manager also integrates with the Apple App Store so I can easily push applications to any number of devices. I simply click Add iOS App, search for an application, and it'll pull results from the App Store. I'll select an app and specify whether it goes out to all the devices or just devices with specific tags and hit Save. Then the application will be pushed out to any number of devices. That was a very quick tour of the Meraki solution, and we just scratched the surface of the features and capabilities that the system has to offer. But I hope it gave you a good sense of the ease of management and the visibility and control that we get with Meraki. If you'd like to learn more or would like to try some free eValue gear on your own network, visit us at meraki.com. Thank you.